first came to Century Hall when I was just about 20 years old. After winning a Kobe flute competition, it was my return to Japan after. And for me, I was in the Palace of Music. Just for me, I had the impression because Berlin Philharmonic had opened the hall just a few years before. I was not in Berlin Philharmonic at the time, but this was, this was for me a marvelous moment. I've had many great memories <laughs> from, from uh, several appearances at, uh, at uh, Suntory Hall, but of course, uh, performing with maestros like Claudio Mazel or Claudio Abado um, as a soloist and uh, Wolfgang Savalisch, Pavo Yervi, who now is uh, appearing more regularly, of course, uh, in this hall together with the NHK Symphony Orchestra. Uh, this, these are just great moments of flute concertos, you know. Um, also, I had other great experience with smaller ensemble like the Berlin Baroque Solist or Australian Chamber Orchestra. And I must say the Sutterly Hall works wonderfully for smaller setups and for larger setups. Uh, the acoustic of Century Hall for me, um, since I came back with Berlin Philharmonic uh, regularly, as uh, was inspired the beauty, this beautiful work also uh, by acoustician Mr. Toyoda, was of course inspired by the Berlin Philharmonic uh, trade. Uh, I mean, uh, landmark that was set in 1963, and then more than 20 years later, when Century Hall was open, and now just uh, 30 years later. Uh, the Philharmonie in Paris was also built on a similar model. Uh, for me, these are really temple, churches, places to celebrate the music. And the acoustic, the sound is traveling uh, very powerfully in every frequency, from the low to the very high uh, range. And this gives a vibrant musical information to even the people in the last, last row. I would say blossom. The blossoming of the sound. I wish all the concert goers to Suntory Hall, uh, now after celebrations of the 30th anniversary of Suntory Hall, just the same intensity at enjoying music as we have as making music in this wonderful space. <laughs>